last video when we went down to the Gravenhurst Highway 11 overpass, we noticed a little side shoot trail number 36 that had a sign to Boston Pizza, but we also knew that that trail went to a little scenic lookout called High Falls. I'm just gonna open up the OFSA interactive trail map right here and show you. So if you're heading down on the D trail south from Huntsville towards Bracebridge, you will see the little trail number 36. Starts here and ends in High Falls where we're going today. It goes a little bit further but uh, you'll see this section here is 12.38 K. So it's a nice little short jaunt from the trip to Gravenhurst. And I think it's well worth it. You'll see it's just north of Bracebridge, quite a bit south from Huntsville, but not too far out of the beaten path. Oh, yeah, that's a piece of Bracebridge. Yeah, it would come right out there, right? That's cool. a good ride one day too. Boston Pizza for dinner and back. But Boston Pizza is too generic I guess. When you're up here you want to go to a good mom and pa shop like Jimmy's in Port Sydney or the Cast Iron, the Cast Iron Grill in Bayesville or the Trading Post in Dorset. That's what snowmobiling is all about. I love the little churches. You're right there. Anyway. Oh, I know where that. I know this number yard. <laughs> you gotta love the E-Tech sound, man. I don't know, it's hard to, hard to replicate. What? Yeah. Dino could do a good impersonation of it. <laughs> I was in sync on that one. It's saying rum. Good idea. Rum, rum. Rum. Coke. And Coke. Rum and Coke. Rum. <laughs> what do you want to drink? Rum. Rum. the best at freaking making sounds. Oh. Oh, yeah. I don't like those. The negative holes. Few of these. Typical early 
rainy season, right? And, and typical people missing the trail. This was also on the bucket list for this year. We walked up here in the summertime, as Drew had just said, and my plan was to bring the dual sport across it. But this is the, it's called High Falls, and there's a park down there, a little resort. But there's the falls right there. It's a hot attraction for, uh, for people cottaging up here. There's also a place that's yeah. yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, okay, that's pretty far down. You probably can't even tell on the camera, but it's a good hike down there. Yeah. But it's pretty yeah. neat. I'll see if I can uh, find some pictures of that from up in the summertime. High Falls, but there's a beach there with a little slide and you can rent. Let me shut the lights there or will it turn out? Pretty cool. Well, we're getting there. Now we got to turn around though, because this just ends as soon as you get to the Boston Beach set. This doesn't connect. So out. where do we got to go? Turn around and go back to where you came, hit D trail, and keep going south. Okay, that's not far though. So yeah, so let's just go here, turn around, and come across the bridge again. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. There's Highway 11. Oh, see, people put flowers there for the little boy that drowned a couple years ago. Last year? Yeah, he falls, dad and the boy in the canoe in late November, I think it was. You know? Pretty good, cool. didn't have a chance, man. Coming up, <laughs> summer and winter, High Falls Bridge, but don't tell anybody it was me because it's illegal to ride over there on a dual sport. I'm just the guy to do it though. Okay, we're going to head back to D Trail and get back on course here. You're probably wondering what this, these bits of rice have to do with my video. What's this bag of rice have to do with my video? What's my action camera doing in a bag of rice? And what does it have to do with my video? Well, I was editing the video and I went to do a voiceover and having my morning coffee and I picked the camera up and I went to do the voiceover and kaploosh, it slipped in my fingers right into the cup of coffee. The cup of coffee was nearly full and that camera was gone. We had to get Jacques Cousteau to dive in there and fish it out. However, got it rinsed off and put in a bag of rice. It wouldn't be a problem by nature because the camera is waterproof, but I actually modified it and took the back door off so that I could plug in my external microphone in its case. And one thing that's really concerning me right now is there is some condensation in the screen so hopefully that goes away or i might be looking for a new action camera so it's going to stay in the rice for a couple days and then i'll do another update on this
hopefully it works. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?